every so often will do also known as Hilly Who. He'll go out on a limb, send a few emails, he sees a product that he likes on the internet, and then it shows up here. And he goes, oh yeah, that thing, yeah, I thought it might be cool. Maybe it should be in the show. Today I have something very bizarre. It's called the Light Phone. It ships in this book. Look at this. Designed to be used as little as possible. It was such a strange statement for any product. You can probably guess at this point what the intention is of this device. It is a phone meant to be as simple as possible. Removing you from the tight grip that social media has over you. Now I'm not suggesting that that's the case. I'm just, I'm talking about the concept here. This is the first device that this company has made, but apparently there's an Indiegogo happening. They're working on the next version. Let's check out the first version and see where we're at. This idea has actually been gathering a little bit of steam. This idea, digital detox, where you would put your smartphone away and I don't know, maybe you don't have the willpower to do it without completely changing the device that's in your pocket. But let's crack this thing open and see if it has a reason to exist or if it's just completely bizarre. One of the things I should mention, it's not exactly cheap either. This one is about a hundred bucks. I can think of one uh, functional element here that, that would probably extend beyond even what your smartphone is capable of and, and, and that's probably in the battery life range. Three days of battery life. Right now, you're probably screaming at your camera lens just saying, I, why would I want a phone with a keypad? You can't watch YouTube. Maybe this is uh, in your future somewhere. Maybe things get so bad, you're not uh, taking care of your, your daily activities. Could this be the antidote? Okay, so they're calling it a second phone. I, I want to be, you know, complete transparency here. They're not saying it's going to replace your smartphone. I'm guessing here that all these experiences I would be more likely to engage with because I'm not staring at my smartphone. Where is the actual phone? I don't... There we go. Okay, cool. Cut out in the book. It is nice. It's kind of nice. It's kind of cute. It's very slim. You will not notice that in your pocket. All right, I'm coming up with some other circumstances in which this might be cool. It's still a hundred bucks. It's still not a smartphone phone I get all that but what about when you go for a jog or something you don't want your full phone with you you just want something slim for an emergency situation there's something cool about the design yes it's a dumb phone they could have made it look however I just like how simple it is all right you get that you get a cape whoa that is so weird that that is a phone can you see that wow it is tiny I immediately see the the earpiece up on the top there hold switch lock switch over here sim card tray is over here microphone and and micro USB. Let's see if we can power it up. We got uh, a haptic, uh, a little vibration, a buzz, and the keypad has lit up. There's also a display hidden here. If I use the lock switch, it says lock and unlock. It also vibrates very strongly, so you know you've done that. Going through, 2G connection. Hey, hey, very loud. So 2G, clear voice. Here's clear too, he's clear. I mean, we're calling, we're making phone calls. X to hang up, that's it. Tells you how long it was and then the time pops back up. Honestly, guys, there's not much I can say about it. You kind of, at this point, you understand its intention. Like the design of it, it's a nice, simple object. It's minuscule, you could hide it somewhere. But of course, for many of you and various other tech enthusiasts, you're sitting there thinking like, that's the last thing that I would want in my life. But the company here, Light, they're hoping not to replace your smartphone, but to be a backup plan. You could criticize the $100 price point, I guess. You can actually get a smartphone for like 100 bucks. In the next version, they took the functionality up a notch, maybe a couple of notches. You're gonna have messaging on the new one. You're gonna have an alarm, directions, ride sharing. I mean, you can watch the video on Indiegogo. They're being more ambitious with the next one. You know, they're kind of going in between. They're like, all right, some things on smartphones are actually kind of cool. Like, how can directions be bad for navigation? You don't really get addicted to that. Imagine being addicted to Google Maps. I do like Google Maps, but imagine every day you're just like map freak. That's just like, yo, know, they updated the one street with, uh, they finally fixed it on the corner of, uh... but anyway, they brought a little bit of functionality back into it. Nonetheless, I do wanna know what you guys think. Are you too addicted to your smartphone lifestyle? Would you ever consider making a change? Do you have the discipline to just put it down? Smartphone addiction, it, it is real. Is this the solution? I'm not sure. Maybe a little personal discipline. All right, get your act together. Hopefully you can, hopefully I can, we'll see.
Today's episode of Unbox Therapy is brought to you by the Sanglid Element Smart Bulb Lighting System. This is the classic starter kit in front of me. It gets you up and running with two bulbs and a hub, which you can then add up to 50 bulbs to at only 10 bucks a piece. Budget alternative to some of the other smart bulb systems you've seen on the market. On top of that, this setup is gonna work with Amazon Alexa, Google Assistant, or Smart Things. So that brings in the voice control as well. Hub is pretty straightforward ethernet port on the back and an interesting thing you can actually remove it from the wired connection after the initial setup put it anywhere you want so that's what the bulb looks like right there now Sangled does make alternative bulbs in different form factors depending on your light fixtures all right so I'm gonna screw this in got the hub plugged in right now and you can see I can set up different scenes for each bulb you can call it bedroom living room bathroom I can control brightness from hundred percent all the way down 4% right there. You can set up schedules. They can go off automatically. Let's say, for example, I know I'm gonna be sleeping at a particular point, 2 a.m. or something, all the lights go off on their own. Another feature I like, just a simple one, you can turn all your lights off and all your lights on. One tap from within the app. So there you have it, the Sangled Starter Kit. Thanks to them for sponsoring this episode. If you've been holding back, you're like, Lou, I don't know when is the right time. I'm tech savvy everywhere else. Why are my light bulbs not? now's the time you got no excuses link down in the description this setup this starter kit about 50 bucks and then you can add more bulbs for 10 what are you doing get it together